hey lovelies welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my smiley face for the first time you're welcome my name is Ami, and i'm more excited today because a new visa has been announced in ireland but before we go into this video properly guys i would like to mention again that someone or a group of people have been using my name and my profile picture to create fake accounts on instagram youtube and telegram for people to join and in the end they get scammed please you can only join me here on youtube or facebook instagram or twitter at immigrate with army you can as well use the link in the description of this video to have access to all my social media handles Please keep note of this so you don't get scammed, okay? Whenever you drop a comment and you see this kind of response, kindly know that it is not from Immigrated Army. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and share my videos with your friends and your loved ones, and keep watching. 1,000 general employment permits will be issued next year, 2023, for home carers from outside the European Union in a bid to relieve waiting lists for the service. Minister of State for Mental Health and Older People, Mary Butler, and the Minister of State for Business, Employment and Retail, Damien English, made the announcement today at the launch of the report of the Strategic Workforce Advisory Group on Home Carers and Nursing Home Health Assistant. Around 6,000 people approved for funded home care are on a waiting list due to a shortage of carers. Those who get the work permit must be offered full-time positions with a minimum salary of €27,000 per year and a stipulated minimum continuous shift length of 4 hours per working day. This will ensure good quality employment for care workers who come to Ireland while at the same time alleviating our national recruitment crisis, Ms. Butler said. The minister said they strongly endorsed the group's recommendations, committing to their full implementation as a priority. All care workers working in home support and a long-term residential care for older people should receive fair pay and conditions and have the opportunity to progress in their careers. We need to show home support workers and healthcare assistants that we value the important work they do and make it a viable career option. I echo the advisory group's call for all private sector and voluntary providers to commit to pay home support workers and healthcare assistants the national living wage at a minimum, which is currently at €12.90, and for home support workers to receive payment for all time spent traveling between people's homes and for other reasonable travel expenses, Ms. Butler said. We need to urgently address the shortage of care workers in Ireland. In conjunction with wider sectoral reforms which are in train, implementation of the group's recommendations will have a real and lasting impact on addressing these workforce challenges. Minister English commented, the current shortage of care workers is a significant issue that needs to be addressed as a matter of urgency. We therefore need to simultaneously tackle the challenges that are impeding recruitment at national level and facilitate international recruitment in the shorter term. I hope that the implementation of the advisory group's recommendations will significantly improve the pay and conditions of care workers in Ireland and make it a more attractive and sustainable career. He said the conditions attached to the general employment contract will ensure good quality employment for care workers who come to Ireland while at the same time alleviating our national recruitment crisis. Earlier this week, private home care provider Home Instead said many people employed as home carers originally had permission to work in Ireland because they were studying here, reside with an Irish spouse, 
or because they are seeking international protection. However, when staff reapply for permission to work in Ireland, this permission is not always granted. At one home instead Dublin office, 21% of workers were forced to leave after their visa expired, it said. Many of those carers went on to secure employment in nursing homes, which do have the right to sponsor care workers. Michael Wright of Home Instead said the issue significantly impacted on his company's ability to deliver home care to all who need it as they employ care professionals from over 50 different countries. So guys, this is the latest news from Ireland and it's a very beautiful one for all healthcare workers. The year has almost ended and 2023 is right by the corner. You guys should start getting ready to move to Ireland. I will keep updating you guys about this visa and when it finally starts. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please share this video with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.